I've always been interested in, in how we sort of hide our own humanity. So I'm trying to find ways to visualize and find what is there so that you see it. What this is, is a uh, player piano roll, and um, what's gonna be on it is Slayer's Raining Blood. So this will then be gyrating around to the song. This is a classical sort of reproduction. Like here's his, here's his top. And so he came in one piece, you know, it's about 30 inches tall, and I've been cutting him into pieces and then adding this armature so that he can sort of uh, be animated, you know, he'll move. We sort of forget that we're in, fundamentally, we're, we're, you know, we're, we're still an object. We're still a thing, just like, you know, any other object. And the gruesome in, in a song like, you know, Raining Blood, where it's, it's so, where it gets inside of you because it's so like, you know, it's almost like a, some sort of chanting or something, you know? And um, it, that it gets inside of you and it reminds you that you're this functioning rhythmic object. It started working on the drawings. It's all, this is the first project I actually did that's completely modeled in the computer before I constructed it. I've been working with uh, video and sculpture for a long time. I mean, as, you know, thinking about it, I guess, as a, very sculpturally as, a, you know, an object, you know, the, the video feed itself. You know, I enjoy the process of engineering and the process of drawing and the process of thinking about how it goes together. Yes, there's a certain amount of beauty. Like, it, I think it, it's sometimes kind of hard to have something go through a lathe and come out on the other side that isn't, you know, has a certain kind of elegance to it. I started making pieces earlier on that were a lot about seeing yourself. I mean, a lot of the work is about shoving something through something, you know, and about how, about the media itself and, and what, you know, comes out at the other side. But like in this one, it's, it's the, you know, the idea of the classical sculpture and, and taking that and shoving it through something and, you know, sort of seeing how it changes and what stays the same and what changes and where the, you know, how the meaning of the object changes. I think a lot of the work is, is about that, you know, about trying to, trying to um, uh, visualize and bring to the forward something that's invisible.